Hello, in this video, I'm going to look at a somewhat more advanced topic, uh, Roy's identity. So let me define Roy's identity. A consumer's ordinary Marshallian demand function for good X can be derived from an indirect utility function by forming the following ratio of partial derivatives. So the demand for good X can be derived by taking the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good x and dividing that by the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income. And we don't want to forget this minus sign out in front here. Uh, to recall, an indirect utility function gives us the maximum level of utility from a given set of prices and income, which is consistent with the consumer's constrained optimization problem. So the indirect utility function V is just a function of prices and income, whereas a normal or direct utility function is a function of units of good X and good Y. So let's do a, uh, an example. I'm going to use this utility function, this direct utility function is my example, where utility is a function of X times Y subject to the budget constraint where income equals the price of good X times units of good X, the price of good Y times units of good Y. Here is the indirect utility function that falls out of this utility function above. Uh, if you're not sure how to derive an indirect utility function, I have a link in the description of this video below. So to get the demand for good X from this indirect utility function, we're going to take a couple of partial derivatives. I will take the partial derivative of this expression with respect to the price of good X. This gives us the following result. I will take the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income and we'll get this result. Forming the ratio of those partial derivatives. So I take here minus the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to price X gives us this result. And if I divide it by the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with income, I get this. Uh, the two minus signs here will cancel. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll take what's in this denominator and multiply everything through by its reciprocal. So we have this m squared divided by 4 times the price of good x, which is squared times py, and then that is all going to be multiplied by the reciprocal of what's down below here, which gives us this expression. Now a lot of things will cancel nicely for us. The 4s will cancel. That'll just leave us a 2, so that's where the 2 is over here. Uh, the m squared divided by m just leaves us m. The price of good y divided by the price of good y cancels, so there's no price of good y over here. And then the price of good x divided by the price of good x squared just leaves us with the price of good x. This last result here on the far right-hand side is the demand for good x. So just rewriting the demand for good x, given this utility setup here, is just income divided by 2 times the price of good x. If we wanted to get the demand for good y, we could essentially do the same thing. The only thing that we would do different is in this step right here, we would take the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good y. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.